Good morning. This is our 2Y reading level video for Wednesday, April 29th. Today we are going to be identifying the starting first letter of each of these words. So we'll go through, say the word, the animal, or whatever object it is, and figure out the first letter, the initial consonant sound. So the letter and the sound that that letter makes. Then we will go do an art bookshelf book, and then I'll take you through an activity that you will do after. So let's go ahead and start with our um, identifying the first letter in each of these pictures. Okay, so let's start with our first one up here. If you know what animal this is, please shout out the name of this animal. A tiger, all right, tiger. I want you to figure out what letter tiger starts with and shout out that letter. T, T is the first letter in tiger and what sound does T make? T. T, T. So I'm going to write the letter T. Is this a capital T or a lowercase t? Great job. This is a capital T. I have a capital T here. And right here, I'm going to put a lowercase t. Capital T, lowercase t. Okay, let's hop on over to our next one. Hmm, what is this picture of? A tie. T, T, tie. What letter does tie start with? The letter T again. And remind me again, what sound does T make? T, T, tie, T, T, tie. Great job, all right, let's hop on over to this picture. This is a picture of a dog. And then on the dog, this is called a tail. What letter does T, T, tail start with? A T again, great job. So I'm going to put my T up here, our capital T and our lowercase T. All right, let's go to this next picture. What is this a picture of right here? A B, 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 B. And what letter does B start with? The letter B. Great job, guys. So I'm going to put a B here. Is this a capital B or a lowercase b? Good, a capital B. Right here, I'm going to put my lowercase b. Remember, we always start at the top when we write our letters. All right, then go right around. B, 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 B. Okay, down here I have a, what is this a picture of? Tooth, T, T, tooth. What letter does that start with? T, great job. Capital T, oh, how do I write my lowercase t? Do it in the air for me, how do I write my lowercase t? Great, line, line across. Okay, hop on over to this picture right here. What is this a picture of? Barn, that is a barn, b, b, barn. What letter does barn start with? B again, I have my uppercase B. And what sound does B say? B, 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 great. I have my uppercase B, my capital B, and my lowercase B. Okay, I'm gonna move over to this right here. Hmm, it's a little hard to see, but what do we think this is? Soap, what letter does soap start with? S, S, great S is the le first letter of soap, uppercase S. And what sound does S make again? S, good job. All right, let's move on over to this picture. What letter, or what is this a picture of? A tent, T, T, tent. What is the first letter in tent? T, great job. And remind me again, is this an uppercase T? Is this a capital T or a lowercase T? An uppercase T, great job. Okay. We're gonna move on down to this one right here. What is this a picture of right here? Tape, t, t, tape. Go ahead, chop that starts with what letter? A T. Good, and this is an uppercase T or a lowercase T? Good, an uppercase T. Okay, we're going to hop on over to an ARC bookshelf story. Okay, so on this bookshelf, we're gonna go right here. There we go, okay. So I have the story cats. What letter does cat start with? C, cats, c, c, cats by Trace Taylor. So in this story today, we're going to work on identifying the new word in each sentence. So we always know our yellow books have a pattern. 
there is always a new word that we need to identify. And we identify that by looking at the first letter in that word, figuring out the sound, and figuring out the word based on that sound. All right, cats starts with a letter C. And what sound does C make? K, k, k. Great job. All right, cats by Trace Taylor. I'm going to start the first sentence and then you'll read it with me. I love my bowl. So if you're looking at power words, we have some power words in here. I love my are all power words. I love my bowl. Please read that with me. I love my bowl. All right, try this on your own. Great job. Okay, next page. I love my bird. Read that with me. I love my bird. All right, and read it on your own. Great job. So I know the pattern in this book is I love my, and the new word is at the end of the sentence. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to draw a line under the new word. All right, so I know when we come to a new word, I need to stop. I need to look at the first letter, which is, what is this first letter? B, and what sound does B make? B, B, B. So I know there's a cat here. So I know it cannot be cat because cat starts with C and makes the K sound. And this makes the B, B, or B sound, B sound. So I know it cannot be the word cat. So I love my B, B bird. Good, so because I have a picture of a bird here. So I know that this can be, I love my b -b bird, and I can check my picture and see that that's a bird. Okay, let's go to the next page. All right, I love my, all right, new word. This is the letter F. F says, I love my fish, and I can check my picture, and this is a picture of a fish. All right, read the sentence with me. I love my fish. Please read this on your own. Great job, guys. I love my, all right, what letter do we have here? Good, the letter F, and what sound does F make? All right, let's try this. I love my flower, and here is a picture of a flower. Read this sentence with me. I love my flower. All right, read this on your own. Good job. I love my I have the letter M, and what sound does M make? Mmm. I love my mouse. And here is a picture of a mouse. Read this with me. I love my mouse. Read this on your own. Great job. All right. I love my, all right, we have the letter M again. M says, mmm. I love my monkeys. Read this with me. I love my monkeys. Read this on your own. Good job. And we have pictures of monkeys here. I love my, all right, what letter do we have here? B. And what sound does B make? B. B. All right. I love my B, B bench. Read this with me. I love my bench. Read this on your own. Great job. All right, I love my, all right, what letter do we have as our first letter? B, and what sound does B make? B, B, butterfly. I love my butterfly. Read this with me, please. I love my butterfly. Read this on your own. Great job, guys. Hey, I love my, all right, what letter do we have as our first letter? S, and what sound does S make? S. I love my steps. Great job, and we have some steps here. All right, read this on your own, please. Great job. I love my, all right, letter S, and S says, S, I love my yarn. Can this be yarn? This looks like yarn here. Can this be the word yarn? No, why not? Why can't this be the word yarn? because yarn does not start with S. I love my string, and this is a picture of string. All right, guys, so we're gonna hop back on over to our activity here. It says write three words that begin with a letter, and we are going to do the letter C. 
So what I would like you to do is you're going to write three words that start with a letter C. So think of three things that start with the letter C, three words. In your composition book on a new page, you will write, up here you can write yellow book. These are the yellow books that we read in our bookshelf. You are gonna write three words that begin with the letter C. Remember C says K, K, K. Once you come up with those three words and you write those in your composition book, you will draw a picture that goes with that word. All right, then you can upload that to your class portfolio page. Great job today, guys. We'll see you for our next lesson.